the XWA Live World Tour rages on as these fans await the arrival of the Enforcer of the Black Diamonds. This, of course, is Arlene Driver. Welcome to ringside, ladies and gentlemen, 3X with the call. And this here tonight is going to be a clash of true titans within the XWA Diamond Division. The last time we saw Driver was at XWA Ambition during that six woman tag team match where she put Madison Star through a table. There is no telling whether that issue has been resolved. I would guess not. But certainly a lot has happened regarding Tyson Blackheart's uh, trio here within the Diamond Division. Her opposition tonight, however, is slightly bigger than Madison Starr and a whole lot stronger. And not to mention, quite possibly, the greatest to ever set foot in the ring here in the Diamond Division. I, of course, speak of one half of the current Diamond Tag Team Champion. The Iron Diamond herself, Jamie Fury. There's really no need for me to run down this woman's accolades within the Diamond Division. But for those of you who are new to the XWA, she is the longest reigning XWA Diamond Champion in company history. Not to mention, she is, as I said before, and as she so prominently holds up into the air for this crowd, one half of the Diamond Tag Champions alongside of the Tokyo Tsunami Tadako Togo, who's got issues of her own. Lots going on within the Diamond Division nowadays, but we focus on the business at hand tonight as Arlene Driver takes the initiative after the referee calls for the bell to open this contest and starts off aggressively attacking Jamie Fury with that big boot, followed by a series of knees right to the side of the head, right to the temple, and Driver with a big time scoop slam, showing off that she's got some power of her own, and then right on a follow with some grounded pound, just driving, no pun intended, her fists into the face of the Iron Diamond, and as we start this match, our lead driver is taking it to Jamie Fury, the likes I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it before, as she goes for a cover here. An early pinfall attempt, hooking the leg, but only getting a two count, but continues right on with this relentless assault. Break to the face and follows it with a choke slam. Tyson Blackheart has awoken a sleeping giant in Arlene Driver after recruiting her into his Blood Diamond faction. And since then, she has been quite possibly one of the most aggressive competitors in the Diamond Division. But here we go, maybe Arlene Driver awoken a sleeping giant in Jamie Fury with that assault as she takes Driver down with a series of right hands. And a beautiful power slam by Fury. Almost like a modified Emerald Flosion into a cover, but only gets a count of two. The Fury right now looking to get herself back into this match. Stiff Lariat into the corner by the former Diamond Champion. Now an Irish whip to the ropes goes. Driver and Jamie Fury hoists her up into the air, dropping her back onto the mat with the greatest of ease. And there is the power of the Iron Diamond, who now administers a series of shots 
Bowling. Driver into the ropes and into this precarious precision. Fury proceeding to beat the well-developed chest plate of our lead driver like a drum and goes for the cover here. Two count only. It took just that much for Jamie Fury to get herself back into this match. A testament to the endurance and intestinal fortitude of this woman. Modified exploder suplex. Almost like a fallaway slam variation there. Tossing driver clear across the ring. But driver with a shot right there to the kidneys off of a counter. And a big time headbutt that drops Fury like a sack of potatoes back onto the mat. And the power of our lead driver. Lifting Fury back up and dropping her with a double arm choke slam, almost from a deadlift position, and follows up with a pointed falling elbow from the second rope. Here's Driver now with Fury from behind into a backbreaker, gut buster combination. Almost like an Argentine backbreaker. Once again, the power on display. And Driver takes Jamie Fury the hard way. And goes for another cover. Two. And only another count of two for her efforts. Letting the referee know that she does not agree with the cadence of his counts. And now, Driver once again with Fury up, onto the shoulders, and down with a snake eyes, right against the surface of the top turnbuckle. Driver now, with a deadlift, into a gut wrench powerbomb. Amazing display of upper body strength and leverage by the enforcer. And now center of the ring, Driver applies a Rings of Saturn, stretching the arms and hyperextending the shoulders, the chest of Fury, but she's able to fight her way out with a knee. And shoots right in with a beautiful belly-to-belly -belly suplex. This fight has been back and forth, it appears that it might be in favor of Jamie Fury right now as she helps Driver back in from the apron with that vertical suplex. Fury in the corner now, setting up. And Fury delivers a furious spear from the corner. Cover, count, two count only. And the disbelief on the face of Jamie Fury is evident. How in the hell could Arlene Driver kick out of that spear? Fury, however, wisely not wasting any motion after the pinfall attempt. Just going right back on the assault here. Answers. Driver back with a snake eyes of her own. And signature Fury on the falling reverse DDT. Now Fury drags Driver back to the center of the ring. An unbridled territory for the strong woman Fury going top turnbuckle. But Arlene Driver catches her in midair. Are you kidding me? Shell shot. We could be witnessing an upset victory here. Driver with the cover. And no. Once again, Jamie Fury with the shoulders up at the count of two. But these fans are awestruck by the display of Arlene Driver as she follows up with that stiff pile driver. And once again, back to the 
raining down of punches onto the face of Jamie Fury. Driver is in a zone right now. And if you're Alexia Leone, if you're Tyson Blackheart, you've got to be very happy with what it is that you're seeing right now. If our lead driver can pick up a pinfall or submission victory against Jamie Fury of all people, as she goes for another cover here, only another near fall, but you have to feel like she might be only inches away from that upset victory. However, Fury fighting back, jaw buster, and now up into a power bomb position, and Fury to the, oh my God! Are you serious right now? Jamie Fury just dumped our lead driver right out of the ring with that power bomb. My goodness, that could change the very complexion of this match and Fury again once again the endurance the power power bomb onto the apron and swings driver right against the hard surface of that LED screen incredible power and aggression by Jamie Fury uncharacteristically I might add as she goes for the cover. But only a count of two yet again. Is it enough to put her in the driver's seat here? Once again, no pun intended. We shall soon see Fury with a reverse falling DDT. Right from off of the ground. Hoist, driver back up yet again. And oh my goodness, the power. She just lifted our lead driver off of the ground into a vertical suplex from a carry position and once again from off of the ground into a modified torture rack using driver's own arm to kind of almost choke her out while she administers the hold driver using the free arm to get herself out of that position with a series of elbows and then right back with another headbutt and now a series of knees right down to the lower extremities of Jamie Fury and driver wanting to put this patch away delivers another choke slam as I was alluding to before, if our lead driver could pick up a pinfall victory against Jamie Fury, what kind of statement would that make to the rest of the Diamond Division? As Alexia Leone has made it quite clear that she has every intention to target every single woman in the XWA, that nobody is exempt from the wrath of the Blood Diamonds. And if we can get an indication of what it is that she did at the season premiere of XWA Girl Fight to her own former best friend, Kamiko, combined with what it is that Arlene Driver may potentially do here to Jamie Fury, you would certainly have to believe that the Blood Diamonds should be on everyone's watch list. Driver appears to be building more and more confidence as this match rolls on with good reason. Another hard way by Driver. And I don't think I have ever seen Jamie Fury take this much punishment. In the course of a match as she eats a clothesline from hell. Driver just folded Fury over with that lariat. And could this be it? One, two, no. And that confidence just transformed into frustration. Our lead driver 
is throwing everything at Fury. And here is the last resort, or should I say the last wipes by Driver. And another cover. And oh my goodness, Jamie Fury kicked out again. This is incredible. This is unbelievable. She just will not stay down. Fury is most certainly not going to go out without a fight here. Back body drop by Driver. Looking to, wait a second, Fury. Out of nowhere with the counter. Knee slam right to the face. And here's Fury. Swinging neck breaker. The Iron Diamond is literally willing herself back into this match. Absorbing the energy from this crowd. And oh my goodness, the power of Jamie Fury. Gorilla Press Spine Buster. And oh God, are you serious? Fury, a little swing time here. Giant swing by Fury. And that is a long, hard ride for our lead driver to take. And nowhere to go but down. Jamie Fury is digging real deep to get herself back in this match after the onslaught that she has succumbed to at the hands of Driver. Fury now with Arlene on the top turnbuckle. Dangerous territory. Big move coming up here. Double underhooks and Fury hoists her over with a suplex. Another long way down and Fury back to the corner again. Setting it up and drills Driver with the spear. And we know what comes up next after this one, folks. It is academic from here. Fury hoisting Driver into the air. The sound and the fury. This one is over. And the XWA universe is on their feet as we look at this replay. Arlene Driver was on her game tonight. Catching Fury in midair and dropping her with that shell shot. And this right here, I thought personally was going to be a game changer. Fury showing her power. Dumping Driver over the top rope with that power bomb. Driver fighting back with a power bomb of her own in the form of the last rights. But even with every single bit of offense that she displayed, the punishment that she administered to the Iron Diamond, J.B. Fury would just not stay down. And when it matters the most, just like the great ones do, Jamie Fury digs deep, reaches down, and pulls out the big play. And that comes in the form of the combination of the spear followed by the sound and the fury. And the Iron Diamond prevails yet again, showing us all once again why she is considered the standard bearer within the XWA Diamond Division.